Hey there, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fly Time Friday. Tonight I'll be tying a streamer pattern I've been working on and I'm calling it the Sunburst Perch. And we're tying it with uh, basically Congo hair. It's uh, uh, similar to EP fiber, but it's made by Fly Tires Dungeon and it's a lot cheaper than EP fiber. So the body will be mostly that and just crystal flash, but we'll start off here on a size 4 Allen bass bug hook. Just work my way back to the bend there. And we'll start off by tying in a longer section of this green Congo hair. Now when you cut this Congo hair off the hank, you got a, a flat cut here, so I just go ahead and give a little taper to the material, pull some ends out just kind of randomly and uh, smooth out that taper throughout all the material and I'll tie that in right on top of the hook uh, bring it back to right here on my vise just give it a couple tight wraps there you don't need to go too much and then I'll add some uh, some of this real small micro crystal flash I think it gives it a, a cool dimension to the flies. It's I don't like the uh, larger size crystal flash. I think it just makes the fly a little too bulky. I think this moves a little better. So just tie that in right on top. And when I tie this flash in I'm gonna just take my thumbnail and just press it around. Make sure it spreads out and totally envelops the material. And we don't need a whole lot here, so I'll just cut this at a taper. And then we'll just fold all this back on itself. We want to build taper into this fly every chance you get, so we got this taper working down back. And you want to keep doing that. We're going to stack a bunch of these, uh, this Congo hair, and we'll work our way up the bend of the hook here and put another uh, section of Congo hair in. So let me just move forward a little bit, make sure that's really nice and secured. And work our way up the hair. And same process really, but now we're just going to use a small chunk. And you don't want to go too thick with this Congo hair, less is more for sure. It's a, kind of like tying a clouser or something like that, you know, you want it to be just really sparse. You should almost be able to see the hook shank through the material. So I just took a uh, small, I don't know, two inch segment and then tapered out the ends like before. And just lay that right on top and for the first couple sections I uh, I don't tie anything on the bottom part of the hook I'll just flip this straight up over itself just like that and I'm gonna put a little taper into this here all right work our way forward and just keep repeating this process and uh, every, every other section or so, I'll put some more crystal flash in. So in this section I'll start folding the Congo hair underneath as well as on top uh, to give it a little bit of a belly. If you would have done that the whole way through though, this uh, bait fish would have been a lot wider and I like there to be a, a nice hook gap here. 
so I keep as much of the material out of there as I can until the last part and then I go ahead and create a, a slim belly profile. Okay, now I'm going to start adding a little bit of orange in for the lighter color of the belly. And same process, we'll just tie that in on the bottom and double it over. And then add a couple strands of flash. Okay, so at this point we want to go ahead and switch to uh, GSP gel spun thread. So I'm going to go ahead and whip finish here. And I'll also add some vertical barring for a little bit of pattern, like a perch pattern on the side, just with a sharpie. Okay, so now we're going to add some bucktail to the head. I'm using this bright orange, and it's a good contrast, a good uh, key color for the fish to key in on and attack that head of the fly. So, and this is kind of where the fly gets its name from, sunburst perch, with this bright orange bucktail. So, I'm going to use the uh, top part of this bucktail that's not hollow, so it won't flare out as bad. So, we want to measure this out. Not too long, just give it a nice profile to taper back into the body. Something about like that. And when you tie this in, you just want to tie the very butts in and really crank down on the GSP to capture all that material. And then we're going to just twist this around the shank of the hook with our thumbnail and get this all evenly dispersed around the hook. And once you have it, you just want to take a couple wraps and really tighten down that GSP and just lock everything in there nice and solid. And now we're going to take a razor blade and just trim those butts out and clear out around the eye. Give the thread a color with the orange. And we'll go ahead and whip finish everything here. We're still going to add some eyes and a little UV glue head. But uh, we'll go ahead and just get it all covered up here with some orange thread. So now I'm going to use some eyes that I also got from Fly Tires Dungeon. I'm going to attach those with some Loon UV uh, thick. And basically you want these eyes to go on the thread wraps and just start to touch the bucktail. Tough to get them in place, but I just figure out where I want them. 
and have my flashlight ready here. And it cures pretty fast, just like that. So we'll do the other side. And we're gonna fill in these eyes with this glue and come up on the head a little bit too and just create a little uh, like skull of glue. Alright guys, that pretty much does it for the Sunburst Perch. Uh, like I said, I've recently just developed this streamer and uh, looking forward to fishing it more. But I think it's going to be a winner. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next week on another Fly Time Friday. Thanks for watching. <laughs>